We are heading down. Forty Watt Club. Tonight is the Hefner Release Album Trash Fest, which is going to be, I don't even know, this is going to be like wackadoo. This is some sort of crazy hoot and nanny going on down here tonight, where they're going to have multiple ba bands, I can't talk tonight, that's great, multiple bands playing at the same time on different stages in the inside of the 40 watt club and if you've ever been to the 40 watt club you will know that this is not a huge venue this basically the building used to be like an old kind of corner grocery store so it's just like the size of kind of a normal you know downtown business it's not like you know a convention center or something so this is going to be interesting having these multiple bands playing like in really close proximity with each other and i think it's either going to be like really amazing or it's going to be like being in the middle of a nervous breakdown like <laughs> it's i think it's going to be really interesting to see what it's going to be like tonight but i'm going to be there for the whole thing so I'm going to get to hear it either from the inside or from the outside. And like, I'm kind of looking forward to it. It seems like it's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be a bunch of like old school Athens people, mostly apparently. It's going to like attract a bunch of kind of townies, which are like older people. I don't mean like people in their 60s. I just mean like not college students. And uh, not that we usually attract a whole lot of college students at the 40 watt. It's definitely more of like a old school kind of place for like the folks that lived here for a while <laughs> but it's fun and so I'm hoping I'm hoping tonight is going to be fun and everybody's going to be well behaved and we're going to have like a really cool interesting and uh unique experience here tonight so if anybody wants to come out and have some sort of very interesting musical experience. <laughs> 40 Watt may be the good place to do that tonight. I don't know. I think this would be fun. Like, I don't really, I haven't, I meant to, you know, go and, like, listen to some of the music. But I haven't, I, have, I haven't listened to their music. I'm so bad with that. Like, I like music, but... I don't ever, like, look up specific bands. I'm just like, whatever, I'll, like, put a station on just whatever. So, you know, I don't, I don't really know what exactly is going to be going on tonight, but this, this should be, <laughs> it's, it's going to be something different. That's for damn sure. I like working the shows at the 40 Watt. I am such a recluse <laughs> I like going out I just like <laughs> once I'm out I like being out but it's just like I don't like <laughs> I don't like having to go out and it kind of helps being closer to downtown where I don't actually have to like get in the car and drive somewhere but it's so hard for me even for like free stuff for me to just get myself up and be like oh, I'm go to this thing but, you know, if I'm working a show, I'm there, you know, at least. <laughs> if I'm, even if I'm not, like, inside where I can hear everything, at least, you know, at least I'm out doing something. <laughs> and Athens is nice. So this is Pulaski Street that we were walking down. We got fixed. <laughs> ADD. So this is Pulaski Street we were walking down now, which is just kind of a relatively short little street that just kind of connects and ooh grapes uh connects from back there up here to downtown hey kitty i have an orange cat too and my cat and this orange cat hi yeah. i need to keep walking 
That orange cat was like kind of down around our house when we moved in, and my orange cat was like, no, I'm the only, only orange cat allowed on this block. So anyway, this is Pulaski Street, which connects, it just kind of dead ends, really dead ends, I mean, it's T-junction, but Pulaski Street ends. Down behind, I'm like pointing behind me like y'all can see, back behind me, and then... To the front here, it just basically runs into um, downtown here and stops. And so, it's just like a little road with a bunch of houses and stuff on it over here near the business district of downtown. And this area, originally, it uh, is over by the old train tracks and the old train depot. And I actually did, like, some research and, and the original like train depot building is now now where the Athens community for aging is which is over in a park that I walk through sometimes but I I think they tore that building down and built a new one or maybe like heavily altered it because I didn't know that's what it was and it doesn't look like the old photos I've seen of this of the old like station but anyway it's uh, over by what used to be like the railroad station and the railroad access area and there's still kind of a switching yard down there and um so the house is down here a lot of these were built for uh railway workers and um factory workers and stuff so they're not like fancy houses um but you know they're not bad. They're just like kind of small and they don't have like a lot of decoration or anything on them. But, ah, uh, our house that we have has a really nice porch. I love houses that have good porches. And our house has a beautiful porch. I'm very happy with it. I've got all sorts of stuff all over it. So, oh man, this car. This sob. Hey, I went to GGA job market. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah, we're over like right. This is on. This car runs. I saw this car driving around earlier. I was so excited. I almost pulled my phone out and recorded. I was like, yee! Because, like, I, I knew that it moved because I saw, like, I would see it change location. But I never actually seen anybody drive it. And I was so happy when I saw someone driving that. But yeah, this is over on Pulaski Street. We're about to come up and hit downtown. Uh. UGA like is across town from us obviously I'm not going to go all the way down to the UGA area I have time it's 610 I am going to the 40 watt club which is over on uh corner of Washington up here so it's gonna be a few more minutes to walk I don't actually need to be there until 6 30 um because they're early it'll be okay there may be some stuff I need to do <sighs> it's supposed to get down into the sixties tonight. I don't know when. I am going to get out of this thing. It is supposed to run like super, super, super late. May end up calling, getting my husband to come pick me up if it's really late. Like I'm not scared to walk or anything, but if I'm there for a super long time, I'm probably not going to want to walk home. It's pretty safe around here. I'm not really worried. Like, there are a few homeless people, but, I mean, they're whatever. Unhomed people, maybe. It's better people without houses. But whatever, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not scared of people. <laughs> Most of them are just, like, people, you know, who don't have it. They're, they're not, like, mentally unstable or anything. They just, like, don't, you know, circumstances have pushes them out so they don't have some place to live but it's not like they're you know 
crazy dangerous people that are going to attack you or anything. So, and it's, it's okay. You know, use your discretion, but I don't see too many, like, threatening people around here. Oh, my God. It was cooler last night. Yeah, it's, like, supposed to be down... When I looked at my window thing earlier, it said it was going to get down to 64 tonight. Now, of course, it's going to be really late, but that might actually be when I'm out. I was like, oh, good, that's good, because, you know, the outside temperature does kind of affect the inside temperature at <laughs> the 40 watt. Uh, I don't really want to be, like, out where it's super hot and muggy, but it's going to be nice tonight. It was nice today, too. I mean, it was, like, warm, but it wasn't terrible. And it's starting to cool down a little bit right now. And hopefully this trend will continue and it'll, it'll get nice. Because I really like taking walks, but I don't like taking walks in 150-degree weather. And I don't like getting up early in the morning. <laughs> Hey, getting up early in the morning. <laughs> so I work at a fucking nightclub. <laughs> uh, have the college kids come back yet? They are coming. They have not all moved in yet. Uh, registration and or move in or something was August 2nd which I only know because they had to do some road work and they were like, August 2nd is, you know, the absolute latest that we can be finished with this so that we can let people through. So I think that a lot of them have, like, come in and registered for their classes and maybe, like, started their move-in, but all the students aren't back yet. Give it another, like, but you can see it's starting to get a little bit crowded. Um, give it another couple weeks and it's going to be like stupid out here there's going to be college kids everywhere oh my god and we're also about to come into the like doomed cursed driving time Athens is kind of weird layout. A lot of the streets are kind of narrow. There are a lot of one-way streets. A lot of the roads just like change name periodically for no goddamn reason. And so it's really like new people who have just moved into town, especially if they've lived like out kind of in a, a country area or something and haven't been in these like stupid cities like this get really confused and so they just drive badly by accident you know it's not like they're bad drivers they're just like confused or distracted they don't know what the hell is going on their map is telling them one thing and the roadsides are telling them another thing and so for like a month or two we have, like, absolute shit drivers around here. And then everybody finally figures out how to drive really well. And we have a few months where everyone's, like, driving great. And then... Then they all leave for the summer and it starts all over again. Okay. Yeah, I don't miss how the traffic picked up when the students came back. Yep. All right, I'm out. I'm going to go in here. Do my thing.